I've already told you that everything in the game is a game object. So as we start adding geometry for our character to walk around on, we just need to add some game objects. This is pretty easy. We just go to the game object menu, hit create other, and then a cube. Now a cube by default is pretty small, and right now as you can see, the X, Y, and Z location of our cube is pretty far out of bounds. So let's change this to 0, 0, and 0. And now you will notice that the cube is kind of disappearing from our view. So all we need to do to focus the camera on the cube again is just click it, hover over the 3D view, and press the F key. This will focus on our cube, and here it is. Now, this is pretty small geometry to walk around on because the scale is set to only one unit. And one unit in Unity 3D you can actually see as one meter. One meter is about three feet, so that's not a whole lot of room to walk on. So let's change the X to 20, and then the Z to 20 as well. Now let's scroll to zoom out and see a little platform that we have created. It's a little thick, so let me change the Y to 0 0.3 three instead and now we have a nice small pane to walk around on okay next let's add a light to our scene to make sure that we can see something when our game runs to do this this is another game object simply go to game object create other and then add a point light this point light is added in the scene and probably is a little bit inside the cube because we cannot see the effect of the light so let's move it up a little bit and as you can see there's the light the effect of it right here now this is a little bit intense for one small spot in the scene so to modify this light we just go to the inspector panel and change the range to for example 30 now it's a lot wider but the intensity is still too bright so let's change the intensity to 0 0.7 it's a little more diffuse now but still pretty bright so let's move this light up until it feels pretty diffuse right there. As soon as you still see that dot in the middle, you know it's too close. But right now, that is perfect. Now if the lights in your scene are giving you problems, then you might want to change your hardware settings to render the lights right. Or you can use the light button to turn lights on or off. If your computer is too slow to run lights within Unity, I would suggest not to use lights in Unity because later on I will show you a method that you can use lights pre-baked before you add them to your scene. Alright, next we need to add something that can actually move because right now when we look at our game and hit the play button, our game is looking pretty cool but we cannot move around as we hit our buttons yet. Nothing is happening, the camera is just static. So what we can do is in the project panel use the search and type first and this will bring up the first person controller and this is a prefab and I'll explain a little bit more about prefabs in a couple of videos from here but a first person controller prefab is given to us by Unity and it helps us to quickly craft a game so simply drag your first person controller into the 3D scene view and let's X out of our search so that we see our own folders again okay the prefab is going through the floor a little bit so that's not exactly what we want Let's change the position exactly to 0, 0, and 0. And then move it up using the up handle right here so that it hoovers just above the ground a little bit. Now, a first person controller is actually a bunch of game objects that are bundled together. As you hit the little triangle in the hierarchy, you can see that the first person controller consists of graphics, which is this little cylinder right here. And then there's a main camera that it functions as the camera in our scene. Now since we already have a main camera in the scene we can delete the one we already had. So just select it and go edit and then delete. Now when we run our game you will notice that as soon as we move our mouse around we're looking around we can look up and we can look down and we can walk around as well with the cursor keys. Now, this is not very exciting yet, but already we've saved ourselves a ton of time by using Unity 3D as a game engine, because with any other game engine I've used over the past 15 years, this takes a long time to actually code. Let me pause the game and go back. 
Next thing we need to do is to label our items in our scene. Select the floor by clicking on it and change the name cube to floor. Now change the name point light to light. I always like to name my objects in my game so that it's more hierarchical and that things are more in order. Because right now there's only a couple of game objects in the scene, but in a little bit we'll have hundreds of them and some will actually be created at runtime. So in that sense we want to keep clear naming going on. Okay, so that is how we add a first person controller into our game and how we can move around quite simply. So now let's add some action to it and add some crates for example and some physics.